everybody um this will <clears throat> probably be fairly brief just wanted to do a little bit of a talky bit in among all the driving about listening to cool music that's my usual fare now but uh yeah just want to say hi hope everybody's well um not really got that much to particularly say um life's just been well normal pretty busy work Work's been busy, out earning money. Um, only real news is my doctor has passed me on for an autism assessment, which, you know, that's obviously quite a big deal. I mean, that has an impact, you know, if they say, if they say, yeah, then. You know, I mean, there's a lot, a lot of mixed feelings on that one. On the one hand, you know, if it it might open up access to assistance, but you know, there is still a lot of stigma with it and a lot of misunderstanding and prejudice and so forth. So, um, bit of a mixed bag that one. To be fair, um, also it's time to in November again, which I do every year, so I'm going to put the link below, so send me a couple of quid, because I'm going to look like this for the next month. <laughs> so, you know, I keep bursting into Bohemian Rhapsody. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so I'll do that. Um, yeah, otherwise just, you know, reading, doing, doing, my, doing my thing, doing my thing, getting out in the woods when I can. Um, I've got a couple of cool books that have they've just arrived. I won't I pretty well get to read them for a little while, but one is a book about Jack Parsons. It's a really interesting guy, uh, rocket engineer, occultist, um, died in very mysterious circumstances, like back in the 50s. A lot of strange stuff going on with him, so quite interested to um, make a start on that. And then I got another book, which I heard on the radio, they sort of serialised it, they like did an abridged version, and they were sort of, you know, reading it, which is uh, the Premonitions Bureau, apparently a true story about a British government department, which was about uh, people's premonitions and, like, seeing if they... I think it was after the, the, the Aberfan disaster, a lot of people said that they'd had dreams of it and prophetic visions and so on. So it was like seeing... Could they use people's premonitions to like avert disasters and things like that? So that should be quite interesting. That's, that's the kind of, you know, spooky paranormal type thing that kind of piques my interest. Today is Halloween. Uh, hopefully this will go pretty much straight up. Um, so um, appropriate, I suppose, for that. Um, but other than that, yeah, just... Um, just biding my time, just going along, just, you know, relaxing, healing. I mean, I think I mentioned before, you know, I mean, I've been doing psychotherapy now for the past sort of two years. I think we're sort of finally starting to get somewhere. I mean, it's a very long process. And I think part of what was going on there was what was happening. Is, <clears throat> things were happening in my life that I was having to deal with sort of at the time. Uh, particularly around dating and all that kind of crap. So having taken a step back from that, it frees up the space to, to deal with what needs addressing. Um, so I think that's where, you know, we, I can actually do real work and, and process things. And uh, I mean, half of it is realising just the, the magnitude of some of the stuff I've been through um because it's quite easy to just just dismiss it and like oh yeah you know everyone has a tough time it's like no actually i have been through some um extremely traumatic uh occurrences at the hands of other people so it it, it does need uh, a careful approach um but another, another part of that as well i mean one lesson i'm sort of learning is is about boundaries never really had a problem with other people's boundaries i tend to just take them for for granted i i, I tend i find most people quite frosty i i, I find people 
you know, not, not very accessible, if you like. But I realized I, I sort of had in my sphere, particularly in online, is where it was often a problem, is I was sort of, there were people there who, having them around wasn't good for me for a whole variety of reasons and i'm not going to single people out and i'm not here to to judge people or criticize but um if if that's the interact if, if, if it's like i mean any interaction it's an energy exchange isn't it you know you're it, it's a two-way thing and if that's not healthy then it, it needs to come to an end and i think I sort of found myself thinking, oh, you know, I'm not really comfortable having these various people about. I should remove them. I should, and and I'm like, oh, but what if they get upset? What if they don't like it? And it's like, well, that's fine to think that way, but my own needs have to take precedence, you know, like that it, it, it's not going to gain me anything it's like if these are people i don't really interact with they're just sort of there and i don't you know i, I don't really like what they're saying or what they're doing or whatever then there's no one is gaining from it they're not they're not gaining anything from it and neither am i and even it you know if like oh who's removed me why why is that well maybe that's for them to think about and for them to you know maybe, maybe reflect on but it's it's just important to do it and it, it, it's hard you know it, it is hard when boundary setting was, was a difficulty it's hard to kind of get right now i've got to set this I've, I've got to set this boundary because it's what's best for me not what not just do what's best for everybody else uh, because you've got you, you know some people where it, it might be completely unintentional but they're not they're not benefiting me with with some people it might even be deliberate not everybody has your best interests at heart. There are there are bad people out in the world. Um, so you do you do have to be careful. Um, and I think the thing is, you know, the journey that I'm going on, which which, which is my life. It, some aspects are quite unexpected to me, and I still don't quite know what the future is going to look like exactly. Um, but I have to own it. I have to take control of it and say, okay, that you know, this is this is where I want to be. And it, and if people are in opposition to that or aren't comfortable with that, or whatever, then they need to excuse themselves. And it, and if they're not going to do that, then I have to assist them out the door, um, which I would do politely, as kindly as I can. But if that's what's going to happen, that's what's going to happen. So, uh, yeah. Um, but uh, not really much happening. I think I'm maybe going to friends this weekend for a bonfire thing. Um, I've got a big two week practical examination thing coming up. So not not this week, but the next two weeks after. So wish me luck for that one because it's like it's a big deal. Like that's it's like you know career building stuff like building my empire. <laughs> Um, yeah, you know, if I get that, but I mean, I will, even if I've had a redo bits, but I'll get it. But like, you know, that'll, it'll open up pay rises and not like promotion, but progression, you know, so it's, it's like, it's a good thing. And sure, I'm anxious, there's trepidation there, but it's, uh, it's a good step, you know. It's like the thing, isn't it? You know, if if you're scared, do it anyway. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll just keep on. But I'll leave it at that because this is nearly 10 minutes now. So I hope you've enjoyed all the music and the driving about. Probably won't be doing quite so much of it through the winter, but, you know, we'll see. But enjoy and uh, peace and love to you all. And, yeah, have a good and have a great Halloween if you celebrate it or however you celebrate it and uh, bonfires and everything else and uh yeah look forward to winter frost and snow and all that good stuff so yeah uh, so ciao for now